Hello, my name is John Rose. In this video, I'd like to take a closer look at reversing eye problems naturally without drugs and surgery. And one of the first things I think about when I think about eye problems is something that Dr. Herbert Shelton once said, which not only applies to eyes, but teeth or anything else pretty much in our body. He said, there is no such thing as a separate body part. So if you have problems with your eyes, you got problems with your whole body. You got problems with your teeth, you got problems with your whole body. So that's the concept behind working holistically with people. <clears throat> Even Dr. Max Gerson said of his own profession, we're not taught the concept of totality. This is the problem that we have in, in, in Western medicine. We have all these specialists that only know about a certain body part and they don't know anything else about the rest of the body. So when you go to an eye specialist, they have no idea what's going on in the colon or the kidneys. And most importantly, they have no idea what's going on in the lymph system, which is, which is what's on the other side of, the, of these tissues. And this is where most of our disease is originating from. It's when the lymph system backs up into tissues and then the body goes through a process to, to heal itself. <clears throat> and doctors name this process based on the location and the stage it's in. So let's say there are four main stages uh, to disease. And then let's say we divide the body up into a million body parts. Then we have potentially four million different disease names. And of course, we don't quite have that many because not all body parts can go through all stages. <clears throat> and I've talked about that before in other, my vi in other videos. In other words, let's say, for example, if you have neuritis where your nerves are inflamed, they can't go to the next stage where it's ulceration and something's bleeding because the nerves can't bleed. So they go to the next stage in duration, which is a hardening, a thickening, a scarring of the tissues. So that's how neuritis goes to multiple sclerosis. And I was working with a man, uh, let me think, um, I would say over a dozen years ago, right out a dozen years ago, he had an eye infection <clears throat> that didn't go away, had it for over a year. And I just worked with his girlfriend, she had hepatitis C, I talked about her the, yesterday. She had it for 20 years, did everything out there, in a frown, you name it, couldn't get rid of it, goes on the juice fast with coffee enemas, the virus is gone, hepatitis C is gone. She was healed, cured, oh my God, I shouldn't use that, those words right. That disease went away. We can reverse those problems. Well, this guy said, well, it worked for her for that. Maybe it might work for my eye. And this poor guy had, had this eye infection for over a year, and the eyes can't bleed either. So the next stage was the induration. It was the beginning of the scar. And that's what they were telling this guy, saying, look, we've given you every antibiotic out there. We can't get rid of the inflammation, which is, or, the, uh, or the infection, which is really an inflammation. Uh, they blame it on the germ, but it's really the body trying to heal itself, so it's inflammation initially. And then they say, no, it's an infection. Uh, but what happened is it started to scar, and they said, we're going to have to do a corneal transplant for you, because your eyes are starting to scar, and uh, we can't get rid of this infection, so we got to do something. And when this guy looked into corneal transplants, he found out it's one of the most painful operations in the world. So he said, maybe the juices might work. Within three weeks, when he went back to the doctor, the doctor goes, it's a miracle. Not only is the infection gone, but the eye has actually healed itself. There's no more scarring. Now, there is a point of irreversibility, which means there's an incentive to do this right away, right? So uh, we, there are certain things that can't be healed and can't be reversed, like ankylosis, for example. If your bones start to fuse together, there's not a whole lot we can do at that point. If there's certain anatomical damage done, we can't repair certain things. But look what this happened to this man's eye. The scarring that he had, what little bit he had, the body was able to heal it because it hadn't progressed too far. So how do you heal eyes naturally? You do the same thing for your eyes that you do for any other problem that anybody would have. Same thing for headaches, same thing for arthritis, same thing for diabetes. You satisfy your needs. And most of us aren't doing that. Most of us are eating the wrong food. And most of us ha struggle eating the right food. So what do we do? The juice fast, the juice feast, the solid food vacation. Go down below in the description box below and you can see a seminar that I gave that tells you how to do this. Now I've coached lots of people on juice fast, thousands of people. 
And virtually everybody sees improvement in their vision. In fact, I'll put a link down below. When I was on the Deborah Duncan Show, one of the women on there did a 60-day juice fast. When you include breaking the fast, she didn't do that when she explained her story. I always add that on because it's the hardest part. And she did a good job of it. But she lost varicose veins and her vision improved. This always happens with people. My vision improved so much that when I did my seventh fast, I went the distance for 90 days, the blue eyes I had as a child that turned hazel as an adult went back to blue. And uh, it, it only makes sense, right? Again, there's no separate body parts. So when I got my body clean everywhere, my eyes were a reflection of that. I coached, again, lots of people. Christina Bukaram, uh, fully raw Christina. Her eyes have changed. She did a video on this uh, by adopting this diet. She's been doing this for 11 years now. So when you build your body out of crap, you end up with crap. If you got eye problems, your body has something wrong with it. There's a bunch of crud inside of it. I'm, I've coached so many people. I remember one guy, uh, he had glaucoma. And he was around my age. I'm 62 now, just had a birthday <clears throat> recently. And he was right at my age now. And this was a long time ago when I coached him, quite a few, long, quite a few years back. And, uh, and he married a much younger woman. And she was maybe like 32, about 30 years younger than him. And he knew about this, but he got away from it. And I, he went on a juice fast. And it was so funny because he said, you know, I've been telling my wife about this, but she doesn't believe me because I don't have any energy. I can't do anything. So I'm not a, a living example and proof that this really works. So he does the juice fast. And within a week, he's out there in 100 degree weather, 100% humidity, which is, I mean, it's like 85 now or 80 now. And it's 98 with the humidity in Houston. That's what humidity does with heat. But this guy was out mowing a two acre lot in the middle of the day, in the middle of summer. And it made a believer out of his wife, obviously, when he did this, because it transformed his body. Now, his, he, had, he had glaucoma in one eye. He could only see about 50 feet with one eye. In 30 days, he could see 150 feet. The guy should have kept going. He stopped. He should have kept going. I'm sure it could have got a lot better. There's a woman, uh, Grace Holleran, wrote a book called Amazing Grace. It was her autobiography about how she reversed her retinitis, retinitis pigmentosa and macular degeneration by changing her diet, but she also used the Bates method. Uh, most people who know how to heal the eyes naturally know about Dr. William Bates. In fact, uh, Aldous Huxley was legally blind at the age of 16 and credits his renewing of his vision by studying the Bates method uh, of, uh, of strengthening your eyesight and uh, wrote a book called The Art of Seeing. So uh, Dr. Bates understood uh, that the Western approach was wrong, that we're only treating the symptoms. The glasses are just changing the reflection of the light, refraction of the light. And that's not a, a, addressing the underlying cause. So what happens with the underlying cause, as Dr. Shelton explains it, it's all about accommodation. You know, we've got muscles around our eyes that change the shape of our eyeballs, and some muscles get weak. So the Bates method, and even Shelton wrote about this in his books, he had a chapter in his section on eye exercises that we can do. Where you look up, you look down, you look right, you look left. Uh, uh, you hold your arm out at a distance, look at your finger, then look at the stop sign a half a mile, mile down the road. There are exercises we can do. We can get pinno glasses and, and focus on looking through those little holes to exercise our eyes. And the main thing we have to do is get off those damn eye crutches because they weaken the eyes and they prevent the eyes from ever healing. They're just like crutches. You're never going to build up your, your body parts if you use crutches all the time. And there's a, a Dr. Sue Moss here in Houston. I highly recommend her. She was trained under Jacob Lieberman, who's considered one of the enlightened optometrists. And she knows that eye glasses are eye crutches. And if you go to someone like her, she's going to find out where, what, what kind of prescription to, to give you to make you see perfectly. But then she weakens it so you have to make your eyes work. And you keep going back to her, and as you improve your diet and your eyes get stronger, you keep reducing it and reducing it so you don't need it anymore. I went to see her uh, over a decade ago or so, and I had 20-20 vision. And my vision is still good today, I, and it's better than it was when I was 32. Now, most of us, when we start reaching, reaching 40, 45, 50, around that area, right in the middle 40s or so, we start seeing uh, a, a, a decrease in our vision, even our hearing. We're falling apart. Why is that? because we're getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. It's a drip, drip, drip effect. Everything we do affects us and those effects accumulate and are reflected in what we got. And if we're making mistakes every day of our lives, 40, 50 years down the road, if we're eating the wrong food three times a day, that's like 40, 50,000 mistakes we've made 
that's reflected in our flesh. If we don't like our flesh, we really need to look at what we're putting in it. You are what you eat. Everybody knows that. So if you've got bad eye problems, you've been eating the wrong food. And we can reverse a lot of diseases. A lot of diseases are due to deficiencies. We can eat nutrient-dense foods and feed the eyes what it needs. But most importantly, we can clean out the body. And that's what's causing most of the eye problems right there. It's the lymph system backing up into the eyes. So we don't have to suffer. There's a simple, natural solution for virtually all of our eye problems. Glaucoma, retinitis, pigmentosa, macular degeneration, uh, nearsighted, farsighted. These are simple. Astigmatism, cataracts. These can all be reversed naturally. We don't need to go to somebody who we think is the expert and yet they don't even know what's on the other side of the cell. They don't know what's going on in the colon. They don't know what's going on in the kidneys. They don't know what's going on in the lymph system, which is on the other side of the cell. If you don't understand this process, I uploaded two videos a couple months back called Healing Secrets Revealed and Medicine is the Ultimate Tool of Control. Go down below in the description box and I explain that there are two short-term self-limited diseases and four long-term stages of disease. And the only thing doctors are doing is naming our diseases based on the stage of disease and the location. It gives the illusion that it's an entity and there are so many of them out there, it's beyond our comprehension. All you have to do if you have a disease symptom is look what the experts say it is and look for certain keywords that tie into the four stages. So every time I create a file on a disease, I highlight it. Anybody who's ever gotten my files knows I highlight the hell out of everything so I can recap it. That's how I keep create my file previews. But then I, I have a method to my madness and I always highlight the stages of disease in a light gray. So I can go through that file and go, ah, look, 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 in duration, in duration, scarring, scarring, inflammation, inflammation. Doctors are totally clueless that the body's trying to heal itself. The first two stages are obvious with inflammations and ulcerations. The body's trying to get rid of stuff. The last two stages, the body's trying to protect itself because there's stuff in there that doesn't belong there and it can damage us, uh, damage us if we don't do something with it. So there's a simple solution for all these problems. Understand your disease. In fact, when I coach people, one of the main things I want them to understand is this whole disease process. It's very important for my students to understand what to do so they'll never need me anymore. I don't want someone to depend on me the rest of my life because it's not that complicated. You just have to understand our body's nothing but a bunch of cells and two fluids. If you have fluid, the fluids backing up in any one body part, learn a little bit about that body part no matter what it is and it's not that complicated. And then once you understand these, these stages of disease where the body's trying to heal itself, you understand that the, there's only one solution. You gotta remove the source that's causing all of it. And then, depending upon what stage it's in, we might have to do something extra. If we look at inflammation, for example, there's five main symptoms. There's redness, there's swelling, there's pain, there's fever, and there's impairment of function. So if there's impairment of function, a certain organ might not be doing what it needs to do, so we might have to support the body and give it what it needs. And then when you look at the redness and the swelling, what's going on with that? Well, the redness is the blood, the swelling is the lymph fluid, so the body's trying to heal itself. That's why the, the two fluids are helping out the cells that are damaged. The body's trying to heal itself, and doctors are so clueless, they, they interfere with the process stopping it, not realizing the solution to all problems, the solution to eye problems, is to help the body do what it's trying to do. It's trying to get rid of the garbage, and in some cases, it's missing some nutrients. So what's the ultimate solution? It's a no-brainer. Take 15, 20 pounds of produce, run it through a juice extractor, let that machine do all the work, get all that nutrition without expending any energy. That energy gets redirected, rechanneled, and then, and then also it rehydrates anything that's in here, it'll flush everything out. And the transformation you go through is nothing but short of miraculous. Again, what did this guy, what did the doctor say when he went back three weeks after a juice fast? It's a miracle, no more infection. The eye actually healed. Why did he do it? His girlfriend had hepatitis, oh, a virus, had it 20 years. Your liver enzymes are elevated. 30 days on juices, coffee enemas, liver enzymes, perfect. The ultimate solution to solve any of these problems that are 100% with their control is the ultimate solution for everything. So the ultimate solution for eye problems is the ultimate solution 
for tooth problems. It's the ultimate solution for headaches. It's the, it's the ultimate solution for arthritis. It's the ultimate solution for every problem that's within our control. Because all those problems are part of our feedback system simply telling us one thing, we're not satisfying our needs. That's why all we have to do to solve every problem, especially eye problems, is to satisfy our needs. But now there are two groups of needs that we have to satisfy. Our ideal diet is for one of those groups of needs, but we don't live in an ideal world anymore, so now we have another group of needs. Now we might have to do something extra. We might have to supplement our ideal diet. And I've said this recently quite a bit. We can't indict the raw food diet when the problem has to do with the mistakes we made and damaged our body. Again, if there's inflammation, we have impairment of function. And now we might have to support the body. So what do you do if you have eye problems? The best thing to do is go on a solid food vacation, clean out your colon. Cleaning out the colon will clean out every cell in your body. You'll, when I coach people, I always tell them to look for certain things at certain times. Because I've documented this uh, when I did it, and then I coach thousands of people and I keep track of what they're doing. And I know at a certain time we start seeing the whites of the eyes start getting really, really white. Just like the tongue starts to get clearer and clearer. As Eric said, the tongue's the magic mirror. It's connected to that food tube. So we pay attention to those things and we can use them as barometers to see how healthy we're getting. And it's not a bad idea to take some pictures of your eye and, and go looking at some eye charts on the internet and you can find out more specifically how to support your body because you can actually see, oh my God, yes, my kidneys are down. Yes, my adrenals are down. I need to do something to support those organs because that's what it's going to take to heal the body. All types of, of body organs can be impaired and not functioning. The liver is so important in our body. If we got gallstones, that's going to make the liver congested and now we're going to have a lot of problems there and this is where it can get really complicated. If your liver is not functioning and you can't go to a doctor and expect them to say, yeah, your liver is perfect. They can't tell you that uh, because the liver does so many things. They, they don't have enough tests to give the, the liver to make sure it can do everything. But if you got gallstones, that's going to make the liver congested. I remember when I first studied Dr. Gerson a long time ago and he was saying, you don't get cancer unless your liver is damaged. And I'm thinking, well, why isn't he talking about gallstones? I said, I, I knew the connection way back then because uh, I'd already studied all that stuff. Of course, he died in the late 50s, so, uh, but, but in the meantime, the Gerson Institute figured that out. And I remember getting an email many years after I had made that comment myself that, hey, we figured it out. The, there's gallstones involved with the, uh, with the liver congestion. So when you're, when you're trying to get healthy, there's a lot of things we can do in addition to drinking juices to clean out the colon. There, there are ways to support uh, the kidneys. There are ways to support the gallbladder. And there's a really interesting herb, an Amazonian herb called Chaka Piedra. And it's one of the few supplements or herbs that I make sure my students know. Remember I sent out about three dozen files initially when I coach people. And one of them is on this herb, Chaka Piedra. Because it translates to stone breaker. And if you got any gallstones or kidney stones, this can break it up. And I've gotten some interesting feedback from women who had kidney stones where they could actually feel urinating gravel as they broke up that stone. So that's an herb definitely worth looking into. Whole Foods sells a product called Stone Breaker by Herb Farm Williams. And underneath it, you'll see in parentheses, really small print, Chanka Piedra. And uh, when I did that bottle, it took about two weeks, almost two weeks, 13 days to empty that bottle. Going by the instructions, it said take a, a drop of full three times a day in a glass of water. That's the delivery system that gets it down into those organs. So I, I always emphasize that I never tell anybody what to do. I can't tell you to do this. These are things that are part of the art that we might need to consider. Another way we can support the, the gallbladder if uh, we're having uh, uh, other problems and the liver's not working right is we can chug us some fresh pineapple juice, and I'd like to thank Dr. Floor for that. She uh, was Ann Wigmore's, Dr. Ann Wigmore's assistant for the last 22 years of her life. And uh, she was really fond of chug a lugging some fresh pineapple juice first thing in the morning. And you make sure you juice the core of the pineapple, that's where all the bromelain is at. And she even says if you get a pineapple that's not ripe, just poke some holes in the bottom of it, set it in a pan of water, and set it out in, into the sun, it'll ripen for you. And if you want to, sprinkle some dulse flakes on it, you can help put some minerals in it that way. So those are things we can do. There's also liver gallbladder flushes uh, that has a lot of controversy that surrounds that. A lot of people will say, 
when you do that, it's just really the olive oil that's doing it. And it always reminds me of what people say about doing psyllium bentonite shake, that when you do the psyllium bentonite shake, that creates the mucoid plaque. Well, when I first did the psyllium bentonite shakes, I was already clean inside. I didn't have any old stuff to come out of me. So when I did the psyllium bentonite shake, they didn't magically turn into the stuff I saw coming out of me that I knew was what some people call mucoid plaque. Uh, it just came out like you would expect it to come out. Uh, and then when I finally got around to doing a liver gallbladder flush, I'd already done so many juice fast and, and coffee enemas that cleaned my liver that I didn't have any gallstones. So when I did the liver gallbladder flush, I didn't have that olive oil turn in magically into gallstones. So there's a lot of ignorance in this field. A lot of people poo-poo things like the natural hygienist. They don't understand there is a time and a place to do something to support the liver, especially if you got some gallstones. Uh, they insist, well, do a water fast, do a water fast. Well, not everybody has the luxury to do that, not to mention most people are scared to death of it. And they even know you don't do something if you're afraid of it. Uh, and I'll never forget a comment by one guy, I won't mention his name, but he said, if you don't have time to, 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 to do the water fast, you just shouldn't fast because everything else is bullshit. Well, bullshit to you, you know who you are. Um, boy, that just infuriates me. Uh, because not everybody can do that. And the juice fast is far superior than the water fast. And you're, and what do you charge $10,000 to have somebody come out to, to, to do it with you? Yeah, boy, you're like the chemotherapy uh, doctors wanting to sell um, chemo to people. Do the water fast, juice fast is not effective. You gotta come to me to do the water fast. You can't do it unsupervised. Well, that's just so disingenuous, uh, it just, Anyway, I, I shouldn't have gone there. Uh, maybe I should even edit that out. But darn it, there are a few things that kind of ruffle my feathers. And when anybody attacks juice fasting, when anybody attacks raw food, that's the only time I get offended. You can, you can say anything you want about me, but boy, you don't talk about raw food and fasting. Even water fasting, I'll, I'll, I'll stand up for water fasting. But if you're gonna crap on juice fasting to do it, I'm gonna crap back on you because juice fasting is the only thing that's gonna wake everybody up. And so many people are short-sighted. I don't poo-poo water fasting except to warn people that most people have too many environmental toxins in them that might damage them if they do it without addressing that issue. I'm a big fan of water fasting. Huge fan of juice fasting, because I know what it can do. I know how exciting it is. It's why I keep doing it every year, usually once a year, I'll do it for 30 days to remind myself it's more fun than eating. So if you've got some eye problems, if you've got problems with your teeth, you got a tumor, you got arthritis, you got just about any problem, it's self-inflicted, stop doing what you're doing, and good luck making that happen because it's not easy. But you can make it easier. All you have to do is go down and watch my seminar. I put a link down below. And if, that does, if you're not motivated yet, just listen to the Dr. Robert interview when he was on day 21. You can hear the excitement in his voice. Watch the Deborah Duncan show. Watch the woman talk about her vision improving. It's a common reply that I get from almost everybody. Their vision improves. Again, when I was 32, I, my vision was horrible. At 62, I have no problems with my vision. And why is that? It's because I pay attention to what I eat. I don't put crap down in my body anymore. So I'm going to repeat this one more time. Everything we do affects us. And then those effects are going to accumulate and are going to be reflected in the condition of all four of our current status factors, especially the condition of our body. So if you got eye problems, go down below, do a juice fast, watch the problem go away. And when you do, I guarantee you, you're in for a treat.